So the first card is the fan, which says that there might be romance or celebration coming in for you. There's some kind of get-together or gathering that you're going to be attending soon. You've got the owl behind it, which says um, good advice from a wise person. So somebody's giving you, uh, maybe you meet this person at the party who will give you some good advice. Uh, whatever this gathering is, there's somebody there that's going to be giving you some advice. So make sure you go to that gathering. And then you've got the four-leaf clover above it, which says uh, great good fortune. So something good coming in uh, for you as far as finance goes. So uh, luck is changing for you. Now, in the past, you've got this money bag over here, which says something important, such as a new job or um, uh, a raise. So there was a change in your financial situation. It seems like money has come to you uh, recently. And then you've got the ram over here. So dealing with a stubborn, aggressive person, you might have been dealing with an Aries person as well, because the ram always signifies Aries. So you might be dealing with, this, or it could be just any any really stubborn person that you've been dealing with in the past. Now going into the future, you've got the dagger over here, which says fear, worries, and tense situations. So there's some kind of uh, event coming in, you know, there might be some kind of problems. Um, and you might be very anxious and stressed about some kind of issue that is going on. You've got the barrel card over here, which says you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. So, you know, you're feeling a bit out of sorts, you know, like something is missing uh, and that's going on for you. Uh, and you maybe this is the thing that is causing all this worries and all this stress and all this tension that is going on. But somebody's there that is going to give you some good, wise advice and it's good to change uh, to take it. And, you know, you've got that four-leaf clover, so luck is about to change for you. So those are the energies in that week. So I'm using the um, Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Cups over here. So this is having somebody around you that's being very supportive and, you know, like a father-like figure. Uh, this could be a water sign person, so Cancer, um, a Scorpio, or a Pisces person uh, in your arena. But this could also be a father figure that you're going to, to go and ask for some advice from, uh, somebody that, uh, you know, you can rely on. This could also be seeking some medical attention or, you know, if you need to, um, you know, if you're not feeling uh, well or feeling a little under the weather, this is getting some kind of medical consult or, uh, you know, speaking to somebody, some professional person about any kind of medical issues. The King of Cups is generally somebody who deals with the medical profession as well. But all in all, this is about somebody, you know, uh, that is a father figure that is very, very important to you and uh, somebody that you're going to be spending some time with. And maybe this is the person that you're going to be getting that important advice that you need from. So what's going on with you? You've got the five of coins and it's crossed by the lovers. So there's some kind of de decision that you need to make with regards to money. You've been going through a really difficult financial period over here. And maybe this is the reason why you need to go and get some advice from this person who is uh, a father-like figure or somebody that's very supportive. Um, and you've been going through these problems. Things are about to change for you. You've got this woman winning the lottery over here. But you ha I'll have to make some kind of big decision uh, in order for you to move forward. So this is, you know, it it's showing... Uh, there's a lot of family um, uh, sort of ties going on over here and you having to consult somebody from your family uh, in order for you to get out of this financial situation. You might need to be asking for some financial help from somebody uh, in your family. And maybe this is the decision that you have to make whether or not you're going to rely on them financially. Uh, but it looks like, you know, to get yourself out of that situation of being, uh, you know, uh, feeling that financial loss, um, you know, you're going to have to go and ask for some kind of help some kind of financial assistance, and this might be coming in from the family itself. So you have been going through a lot of problems. You've got the five of blades over here. You might have been le dealing with a lot of legal issues, a lot of, um, you know, uh, legal problems. And this is probably why this has led to this financial loss. Um, 
you also were dealing with a, a lot of arguments, fights, battles. Uh, you know, this has been a very, very difficult situation. There's been um, a lot of power struggle going on over here. And whatever happened with that five of so of blades, it led to the three of blades. So there was a heartbreak, a breakdown of an, a relationship, a loss of communication with somebody. There may have been a three-party situation, but not necessarily. It's something that has left you feeling very, very miserable. If it's been a breakdown of a, of a relationship, there might have been a legal ending to that particular relationship. And it came after a lot of trauma and stress and problems that you and this person dealt with. So there was a lot of, um, you know, maybe this other person was very uh, vindictive, very nasty, and this has left you feeling very, very miserable and very, very isolated. The um, Three of uh, Blades is about, you know, cutting, being cut off from a relationship and being cut off from something that was loving um, and... Um, you crying about it quite a bit so you're dealing with a breakup of a relationship and that has led to this five of coins which is also feeling um you know left out in the cold feeling very miserable feeling as though you know you've got some health issues going on due to that so it's taken its toll on you but things are about to change even though you know you have gone through a lot of problems it looks like some support coming in for you you need to make that decision to move on as well now you are very determined with this queen of blades this is your cards it looks like there is some kind of maybe you need some kind of medical um um intervention as well because this is the card uh, she's a doctor here so it looks like you might need some kind of counseling maybe you're thinking about getting some kind of counseling but it's also you being determined to take control of that situation and get things done. Now, the Queen of Blades is about, you know, it's it's usually a divorced or single person uh, having gone through a lot of problems is now dealing with, uh, you know, whatever happened, the aftermath of whatever happened. So this is what you're going through at the moment. You're trying to get over this uh, Three of Blades that happened or this uh, breakup that happened and you're taking control of that situation. You're trying to get your mind back on track again. But you have been through a lot. Now you've got the Nine of Cups coming in. So this is very, very uh, positive. There is some kind of social meeting or gathering that you will be attending soon. Uh, this is some kind of family get-together. Get it seems there's some kind of celebration. This is the card of satisfaction. But this is getting together with people that support and love you and maybe seeking advice, uh, getting that, um, you know, getting what you want uh, from this group of people that you meet. So, uh, or you, group of people that you gather with. So if you are in, how, going through financial problems, it looks like maybe there's going to be somebody there that gives you advice or gives you that financial help or, or gives you something that can get you through this difficult period. So there's going to be support that comes in for you. With the Nine of Cups, it's all about, um, you know, wishes being fulfilled. Um, generally, that's what this card is about. But it's a card of satisfaction and it's getting over difficult situations and that all that problems that you've been through coming to an end. So there is some kind of gathering that you're going to be attending soon um, and it gets you into a better space or a better energetic space. It's going to be feeding that, en uh, that positive energy into you. Now, you've got the eight of coins. That's what's going on with you. So whatever job you're doing right now, you're earning and learning at the same time. So this is a, a card of apprenticeship and becoming an expert at what you're doing. So you are earning at the moment and you are working while you're earning. And you're really focused on your work right now. So you've got the page of wands over here, and this is moving on from a difficult situation. You might be thinking of doing traveling, um, you know, um, and maybe you're thinking of starting a new project as well. Something brand new that you want to take that leap and you want to get going with this particular project. Now, what's on your mind or what are you afraid of? You're afraid of being alone. You're afraid of, um, you know, having health problems as well with the Hermit card. And you're also uh, very anxious and very stressed with this Hermit card because a Virgo is generally a sign of being very lonely and also a sign of being very anxious about things not working out for you. So you are worried about the future. And maybe you're planning also on doing some further study. So you may be thinking about um, going on and taking on some new course or, you know, enhancing your skills as far as your work goes. But you're trying to focus back again on your work um, you know maybe this job requires you to do further studying this job that you're doing this apprentice job that you're doing requires you to do further studying so you may be considering doing that at the moment now going to the future got the three of cups the queen of um, coins and the high priestess 
So the Three of Cups is a gathering or meeting friends or getting together with family. And you've got that Nine of Cups as well. It's also about ce celebration. You might be celebrating some kind of family event as well. And you're going to be getting together with old friends or getting get together with people that are very supportive. And, you know, a quite a happy, a nice time. So uh, a nice little meeting to get you out of this feeling of being stuck or a feeling of being depressed. It's going to get you out of this feeling of being miserable. So it's a good... Um, if you uh, get invited to this event, it is a good event to attend. You've got the Queen of Coins, so this is you being offered something uh, better. So there might be a promotion coming in over here for you. Um, you can see this is a businesswoman selling all her abundance. And it seems like, uh, you know, um, it's whatever this new post is, it's going to be uh, something where you're in... Um, you know, uh, earning a lot more money and um, also taking control of that situation. Um, so it looks like a lot more abundance coming in. So you're going to be getting, um, you know, something coming in, a lot more finance coming in. You could also well be dealing with a uh, earth sign person. So this is, could be Taurus, uh, uh, Capricorn or the Virgo person that you're dealing with as well at this particular moment. And, you know, it's it's quite a happy dealing because, you know, you've got that three of cups. Maybe you have a, um, a connection with this person, a better connection with this person or you know a friendship or maybe you meet this person again in this party that you're attending soon so this could well be a promotion and maybe you're celebrating a promotion as far as your work goes but definitely more money coming in and you can see money being paid here and you um uh definitely some kind of leadership management position over here because the queen of coins is generally a person who's uh, in management she's able to manage finances so it could be that she, or and she's able to manage resources so human resources in the sense that you know managing people and managing finances so it looks like some kind of promotion coming in for you and then you've got the high priestess card over here which says you know this is a card about further study so maybe you're thinking about doing further study as far as your work goes uh, but also relying on your intuition to get things done and and also with the queen of the high priestess it's about things being revealed to you new insights coming in for you from a you know on a very psychic level as well you've got that cat jumping out so it looks like you know something's going to be coming to light for you um but you know you just have to wait for it it will come to light so maybe in this party or this meeting or this event that you go to you know things are going to be revealed to you that you never knew before uh and um you know uh, also, you could be doing some further study as far as work goes with that high priestess because she is the keeper of secrets and knowledge. And generally, when you have the high priestess card, you do tend to be uh, involved in further study or, you know, focusing on um, revealing the secrets of the universe, really. So there could be some further study coming in as well. And it looks like you do want to do that with that hermit card. You do want to do something further and it looks like you're going to go for it. So there's a wish fulfillment card over there. So things are turning around for you and they are looking up. Now you've got the Ten of Fire. So this is too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. So you are coming to an end of a cycle of being, uh, you know, working very, very hard and being very, very stressed out. It looks like some help and support is coming in. And you can see that with this King of Cups, there is help and support coming in for you here. Then you've got the Three of Air, which says... Um, great sadness, time to heal, and a need to forgive yourself or others. So you have got that three of blades and that three of air over here, which is the same kind of energy, which is talking about, you know, dealing with a difficult heartbreak situation. So you are getting over a breakup and you are trying to heal from it. And then you've got the renewal card over here, which says review and evaluate a favorable assessment of facts time to move in a new direction so this is the judgment card so you are being called to change your direction or change your views in life take what you um, need from uh, the old lessons that you've learned apply it to your life and move on the judgment card is about leaving the past behind you have been called to leave the past behind and move forward in a totally different direction Maybe something that you didn't think about before is something that you're going to be doing. And this is the thing that is going to bring you that joy and that happiness and start fulfilling the wishes or start fulfilling, fulfilling your needs. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.